Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to add dynamical rows into a HTML table using jQuery. Save the file. We'll check the final output. Add new row. Ben B at gmail.com. Sal is one, two, three, four. See, we are getting the dynamic rows when I click the button control. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I'm using Notepad++ to write the code. Now in this Notepad++, if you notice in this Notepad++, there is a simple HTML file code with some headed access, one instant and one horizontal line. Now before writing the coding part, First, we'll check the basic output, how it looks on the browser. And this is the output of that code, which contains only the header tags. Now, my aim is, I will create one table and one button control. When I click the button control, I want to add some multiple rows into the table using jQuery script. Let's start the coding part. Now, after the horizontal line, I'm adding table element, table control, table, I'm closing the table, border is equals to 1, d head, let's close the table header, d head, tr, close the tr, td, not to the table header. Let's close the th. The table header first column name is an employee name. Second th table header. Email. And the last one table header. is a salary. Let's give some color to this table header here and the T head style is equal to color colon red. After table header in the table let's create the table body T body close the T body after body, I want to add the footer into the table. T foot is a tag. Close the T foot. Now inside this T foot, add TR, TD. Close the TD. Now inside this TD, I'm adding the button control. Input type is equals to button between double quotes value is equals to add new row new row id of the button control new row let's close the button control input tag that's it we have added the table control which contains a table header, table body and footer. Now before writing the jQuery script, let's check the output, how it looks. Save the bar, save the file. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the output after adding the table control. Now the last target, when I click this button control add new row, I want to add three text box controls inside this table. So before writing the coding part in jQuery, first thing we need the latest jQuery CDN. So let's open Google. Latest jQuery CDN. Enter. And from the search results, the first one is a hosted libraries. Click that one. 
and Google hosted libraries notice that the corner there is contents jQuery click that one here you can find the jQuery snippet the latest version is 3.x just copy this script add into your insert the header tag after the title there is a script after that script close the script type is equals to text slash javascript dollar document dot ready function Now in this ready function, I'm adding the functionality when I click button control. I want to add a new row with text box control inside this table body. So dollar between double quotes, I'm adding the button control ID which is a new rows. I'm adding the new rows here. When we are adding ID to the JavaScript or jQuery, we need to add the hash symbol dot click function now let's add the controls for that I'm adding variable add controls is a variable name is equals to tr I'm closing this tr After that is equals to between double quotes td close the td inside this td control I'm adding the text box control input type is equals to text single quotes input type text name is equals to between thing single quotes employee name I'm adding the placeholder is equals to enter name let's copy this first here a second input text box control which is the email enter email And the last text box control is the salary. That's it. We have added the three controls inside this TR. Let's add this add controls here. Plus copy this. here also let's add the semicolon now after adding the dynamic controls inside this td and tr now i want to add this tr in the table body between t bodies so let's append those controls dollar between double quotes the first one is a table and t body dot append method now inside this append method I'm adding this variable add controls copy this one let's paste here that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file we'll check the results on the browser let's reload the browser again add new row and notice when I click the button control the dynamic text box control is added to this HTML table let's add some values charan charan at gmail.com salary is 15,000 add new row 
let's merge these cells let's align this footer add new row the td column span is equals to 3 between double quotes and let's add some style is equals to width colon 500 pixels save the file we'll check the final output add new row ban b at gmail.com salaries 1234 see we are getting the dynamic rows when I click the button control that's it